Hey y'all, it's Mr. Davis. I've been making some lesson videos. I hope you've been finding those okay. Um, I know one of them might have gotten misplaced. Uh, but we're working through the technical stuff over here. Um, I thought it would be pretty fun if we uh, created some extra projects. So I might have a few during the week that are extra. And if you have some extra drawing time, you want to work on your drawing chops, um, these are things you can do at home. So. Uh, the first extra video I wanted to do was actually a request by my friend Mason, and that is for a Pikachu. So um, a lot of my students know that I, I get a real kick out of drawing Pokemon. I think they're fun characters and creatures and character designs. Um, so I am going to walk you through how I would draw a Pikachu and I'm kind of cheating because I have a picture in front of me I can't just remember how to draw all these characters off the top of my head so I do have a picture on my Chromebook of a Pikachu uh, I found a good quality picture and I blew it up so it it's on my whole screen now just like you would in class I would start with pencil um, so you can sharpen your pencils if you've got some nearby. Um, I also just got this new type of pencil. It's called a non-photo blue pencil. And it looks just like a blue colored pencil, but what it really means is it's not waxy like a colored pencil, so you can draw over it uh, with a marker. And also, even though it leaves kind of a blue residue that you could erase just like a pencil, you can also just leave it on your drawing and if you were to photocopy a picture of it, or maybe even scan it, the blue doesn't show up. Um, once light hits it, uh, it does not show up. So it's kind of just a cool little thing, um, a cool little tool that I've been using at home. And so today I'm going to work with this. Again, I could erase it at the end, but I kind of like the little blue residue it leaves. So I'm going to be playing around with that. <clears throat> so Pikachu, let's start with the head. And I like to do everything big. If I can help it, I will go too big rather than too small. Because big is easier for me to work on extra details after. So I'm just going to do a circle for the head. I'm just going to check my camera to make sure that blue shows up. I'm going to draw it a little darker. So, a circle for the head. My circles are never perfect. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, so I start with the head on pretty much everything I make. Could be made up creatures or characters. The head's always a good place to start for me because I almost always know it's usually going to be a circle. So I got my head. The body is not much longer than the head and I kind of make this sort of jelly bean shape. Or if you've ever had those candy dots, <laughs> those super, super sticky candies. Kind of a jelly bean shape, kind of an egg shape, kind of the shape of those sticky candies. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got the body. Uh, now the ears are more of a, a football shape. So when I say football shape, I mean kind of a pointy oval. So you could always draw an oval first and then make it pointy, I guess. Just make sure to make those ears pointy. Long oval shape, point at the end. I'll do one ear a little lower than
than the other. You can see when I draw, I go over the shapes multiple times a lot of times. What I'm doing is I'm kind of darkening my lines so that I'm getting the shape that I want. I'm figuring it out as I draw. That's okay. Um, okay. So we'll do some arms. And in the picture I'm looking at, the arms are in front. And Pikachu has these kind of puffy, oval-shaped arms. When I draw, I stick with shapes. Even when you heard me saying a jelly bean shape. I kind of think of everything in terms of what shape does that look like. That just helps me figure out what I'm drawing. In the picture I'm looking at, Pikachu has some pretty tiny hands with little pointy fingers. So I might do these kind of zigzag shapes. I see four fingers, maybe the thumbs underneath. Same over here, kind of zigzag shapes like that. Um, the feet are really small in the picture I'm looking at, which is kind of funny. So, just these kind of little feet sticking out. Like that. Zigzag shapes. Again, I see four toes here. And the eyes in this picture, I've got to say, in the picture, the top of the head's a little smaller than the bottom, so I'm actually going to make my circle um, kind of get a little smaller at the top. So I'm just making two lines that go sort of like that. So the bottom of the jaw, the bottom of the chin is a little bit wider than the top of the head. couple big round eyes. Actually, I don't want them too high. Pikachu has kind of a, a little bit of a taller forehead. So I'm just doing a line to show me where to put the eyes. A couple round eyes. They're pretty big in this picture. I feel like sometimes artists make the eyes bigger to seem like the character is a little cuter. A couple rosy cheeks on the side. So you're not going to do a full circle, you'll go right to the edge of the, the um, cheek there, but that circle shape. Tiny, tiny nose in this one. It's the tiniest little triangle you can draw in the middle of the eyes. And then this kind of cute, um, almost looks like kind of a cat mouth. So goes up and it goes down like that a couple little half circle -y shapes there all right now the tips of the ears are black so they just have a couple round lines like that show me where to make the ears black and Pikachu has a shine in its eyes so I'm gonna put little circle there for the shine, little circle there for the shine. Now we gotta do the tail. The tail is zigzag line. It gets bigger as it goes, so make your zigs and zags bigger towards the top. And then you kinda just follow down the other side, making your zigs and zags a little smaller. Now, Pikachu looks like there's another zigzag line here where this part is going to be brown. So with this character, I mean you could color it however you like, but that's how they show it here. So now that I've got it in my non-photo blue pencil, or if you're using a regular pencil, um, now I'm going to go around the outside. So when I do the outside, I usually use a thicker marker. Sharpie would work just fine. Um, I've shown you 
these before if you've watched all my videos, but there are some nice brush pens where the harder you push down on them, the bigger your line gets. I'm going to stick with a kind of a chunky marker for the outside lines. Um, and then I'll do something a little bit thinner for some of the detail lines. So I'm just going to go over my outside lines. To me, this is kind of the satisfying part. All those lines I made, I'm just going carefully around the outside. So now that I've done the outside, I will go around the inside. I have kind of a felt tip pen here. Um, I'm gonna do all the inside details with the felt tip. I'm gonna do the bottom of the chin with the felt tip. Sometimes I tilt my page. Sometimes I don't go all the way across a line. I just do a little bit of it. That kind of implies the shape without making it look like the ears are behind the head. I think I had a little too much coffee today because my lines are pretty shaky. <laughs> but that's okay. All right. Go back over the arms. And if you find it easier to look at a picture on your Chromebook or iPad than you do to, to follow my directions, some people just learn a little differently. So some people like hearing about how to draw stuff, some people like watching it, some people like just looking at a picture. And I've had students who like all of them, so However you like to learn best, it's up to you. So I'm just kind of seeing in the picture, there's like a little raised part where the legs are, so that Pikachu might Might have just come out of hibernation. <laughs> Be a little rounder than some other Pikachus. So I know that the tips of the ears are black and the, the insides of the eyes are black. So I'm just gonna go ahead and color those with marker. If 
you want to make anything look like it has a shine, you just leave a little bit of it white. So I might do that with the tips of the ears here. Kind of a chunky marker, so gotta be careful around those little spots. And the inside of the nose looks black, also. And sometimes, <coughs> excuse me, sometimes um, add a little shadow at the bottom. So maybe if you have a colored pencil or um, if you want to make it look like it's standing on ground, let me see if I have, I have a colored pencil laying around. Let me just grab it real quick. If you have a dark colored pencil, it might be good to just draw around the bottom. Make it look a little shadowy. So this is my post hibernation Pikachu, I guess. A little rounder than some Pikachus, but awfully cute. <laughs> so if you wanna do this, this could be your own coloring page. Maybe you could give it to someone in your family to color. Um, could always try it again and keep one for yourself. Again, I kind of like it with a little bit of um, blue residue. Um, if you are doing it with a colored pencil, just remember they can be waxy. So sometimes markers don't work so well on top of them. But this non-photo blue pencil was, was pretty fun to draw with today. And again, if I wanted to, I could erase those blue lines. I kind of like them. It gives it a little bit of an energy. It shows all the work that went into the drawing. So hopefully you like this extra drawing. I will try and keep coming out with more. Um, I may just start with Pokemon and see where I go. If you want to follow along, you could become a master Pokemon drawer. So I hope you had a lot of fun. I hope you're doing well, and I will catch you soon.